No, I didn't mean to do that. All right. And if you notice up in the corner, it did say like um, add to wish list house flipper too, which I tried to add it to my wish list, and then it would have me sign in and then it just put me back at the main title. So I don't know if that means that this game is not, that the second game is not yet out and it's in the making. I haven't looked it up, but I did go on like the Xbox store and I noticed that they have like a pet version and like a couple other ones. And they're not like too expensive. They're like 17, 18 dollars. So they're really not pricey at all. But anyway, so this is, what I got so far, mind you, there was snow everywhere in here. There was broken glass. Like, I mean, I'm sure you noticed from the um, the loading screen, it was atrocious. So I did kind of like start kind of doing a little bit here and there, but as you could see, I only have 20,000 left. So eventually I'm gonna have to work um, a couple more jobs uh, to make some more money. But this is what I got with the kitchen so far. I moved the kitchen over here, which actually I'm gonna get rid of these because I don't need these right now. Um, I moved the kitchen over here because it was actually like this dining room was here. If you watched my last stream that I did on this, um, the dining room was there, but this was all like open. And then this room over here was also open, but I closed it off and made it into like another bedroom. That's the idea. And I even put a closet in here. Um, so I kind of did a lot of like, <laughs> like work and if you notice like there's parts of the walls like these are all walls I built and then these ones that are already painted these were walls that were already here so I like there was a door here there was like a laundry room um so this was where the door was so I took out the door and ended up um walling it off and I'll show you why because this is supposed to be like the master bedroom but before we do that this is actually the front it just happened to put me at the not front. So this is like the front door, the entryway. Everything's pretty bland and bare because, you know, I'm working on it. it takes time. Um, I'm gonna try something. Title, let's explore my new title. Let's explore my new home. Why did it do that? Oh, wow, it changed the title too? Or did you do that, Ventress? I actually wasn't even thinking about the title either. So good call on that one. I just was worried about the tags. Anyway, this room, I think I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. This was kind of just like, as you can see, more demolition and walls added, obviously. That's why this all looks atrocious. But this was a bathroom. It was like a giant bathroom, like for no reason. And then upstairs, I also did a lot of work. There's a balcony here and it actually wraps around that door, which I'll show you guys in a minute. So I made a half bath in here. This wasn't here. This was like a loft area where it was like a hallway and then it was another hallway down this way. But I walled it off, put a door there, made this a little like half bath, which also goes into this room so I don't have to go all the way around. And then in here, it's just like I think I'm gonna do like an office library kind of area up here, like a study, you know? And then this is where the balcony leads to, obviously, so. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And then we also have a balcony out here, and another door here. I mean, the snow definitely makes it look like more cozy and, and nice, I gotta say. So I kind of wish that you could like take the snow out, like change seasons, you know? So I'd like to see it in other seasons as well, but whatever. Uh, that bathroom is as big as a garage. That's what I'm saying. I was actually looking to see if I could make it into a garage because I was like, what am I going to do with this? Um, but yeah, let's go back downstairs because like, like I said, this is like massive. I would have put a garage door here, but apparently that's not a thing in this game. so. If it doesn't have a garage, you can't put one in. And also the other thing is if you look on that map up there, like these walls right here, you cannot, well, the windows I can, but these, let me find like an actual outside wall, like the thick walls that are outside these right here. Like you cannot demo these. So you can't make more space. Like the layout is the layout. 
and then you just like mess with the inside walls. So anyway, let's go um, show you upstairs. Oh yeah, this is a little bathroom and laundry room down here. Nothing great. That was actually there sort of like this actually connected into like the room next to it. It was like one big room also, but I walled it off to make a laundry room slash bathroom. And then the room on the other side is gonna be a walk-in pantry, which as you can see, I might have to take that out at some point, but. So that's the downstairs area. And then I'm gonna put like, um, like that's the dishwasher that I don't know what I'm gonna do with. It looks funky when I put it over here. It's like shorter than the counters for some reason. And let me tell you, putting these counters in was a pain in the ass because there's so many different counter types and it just was not fitting the way that I wanted it to. Like this area, it looks like a nice little like corner cabinet. Nope. It's actually, if you look, you can see that it's like just mashed together. You want that pantry? I'm just, you know, just coming up with ideas. I had that big X, like this, all right. So this room connected into that room and then it also had that little extra space. So it was like a perfect square. Um, and I was like, what am I gonna, it had like ski stuff in it. So I'm like, I don't need all this ski crap. So I took, or snowboarding, skiing, snowboarding, whatever. So I took all that out, walled it off, made it a walk-in pantry. And then I started kind of doing this area. Um, I'm gonna put like, a little island across here with some bar stools and I think that'll kind of tie it together a little bit more but they didn't have a whole lot of options either like this is not my first choice for like cabinetry I'm not I'm very displeased with how this this looks but it, it's very limited on options that actually look good so hopefully in the second game um, it's a little bit better on that but let me show you the room I actually did do a little bit more work on this is the master bedroom. As you can see, the light, I didn't put those lights in, by the way. And this leads out to a little patio, which is great. And this is a walk-in closet. And there's another door that leads into the master bath. So I'll show you that in a minute. And again, I put all this in. This was a laundry room and the door was actually on that side. So I just opened that up and then this was sort of here, but this is what I've done with the master bath. So right here is the closet. You can enter in both ways. Then there's also a door that you can just step out here. I was kind of look, hoping that they had like a hot tub because I would throw a hot tub out here, but unfortunately that did not work out because they don't have one. At least I haven't found one yet. So this room is actually, I think completely, almost completely decorated, but Got the bathtub over here with my pirate ship. I wanted it to kind of look like, like pirate ship, but kind of like, you know, like rustic, you know? And I think I nailed it. Um, again, the black is just, I didn't know what else to do with it. Very limited on options, but I, I kind of like how it came out. It kind of came together pretty nice. And then you have this nice walk-in shower here. This is a sauna door. Again, I built this, this is completely, custom. Um, I put these glass windows up and so I got kind of creative with it. Uh, see Archer, we need to get you that PC. They got hot tub mods for this game. Really? Do they? See? I do. I need a gaming laptop. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty pleased with how that area has come out. Then eventually I'll work on this, but let's go into the kitchen and figure out the kitchen situation because that was my bigger focus because that's the most expensive part but I, I'm pretty much done I just need the other counters and then I got to do the um, the walls which I haven't decided what I'm gonna do the walls I do have to finish this though so maybe we should just do that real quick gonna go to waste so I'll buy a couple of them and you still got 20 grand left yeah I mean it's definitely gonna cost me more than 20 grand like because this stuff is expensive you only get like 
10 of them for like $80 or 15 of them, I'm sorry, for $10, uh, $10 or $81. Jesus Christ, what am I saying? So it is rather expensive and I should actually like at some point buy another house to like flip, but I really just wanted to like focus on this house even though it's like I don't plan on selling it. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the brick. I was debating on if I was gonna go with a tile, but <clears throat> they really don't have great wall tiles to be quite honest. Oh, maybe this one. I'm gonna take a chance. Just to kind of break it up a little bit. Please don't hate it. I hate how you can't really test it. Oh, I like this better for the kitchen. This looks so much nicer. Well, that worked out. Good. I wish I knew that before I actually just spent all that. get more of that now. Am I an HGTV fan? I used to watch HGTV all the time. Like that was actually one thing I really wanted to do was actually flip houses and obviously I don't have the money to do that so. But I like like demolition, you know, like, tell me, like, honestly, like just taking a sledgehammer and just like hitting a wall, maybe not a brick wall. Like, I don't think I could do that, but I don't know. I feel like it would be therapeutic. <clears throat> the brick black, ba black splash, the brick back splash does look nice. Um, but this is like, I wanted to break it up a little bit. Like I'm gonna do over here too, to this, this like, and leave this right here. But I'm gonna um, go over that far, I think. And I think the kitchen just should be this anyway. Just cause it has more of a design, like down here it just looks nicer. It kind of ties the two uh, shades of brown together. I just think it works. Oh, I ran out. Hi, Davy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me give you a shout out. How you doing? How you feeling? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Hope all is well. Doing better? Glad to hear it. Um, I like HGTV when nothing else is on. Just be chilling, watching House Hunters for the homes that can't, I can't, oh, you can't afford. Dude, I'm right there with you, believe me. I'm just sitting there like, wow. Look at some of these houses. Recovering from the week's insomnia. Still having trouble here and there, Davey. Yeah, hopefully uh, you get that, you're able to get that under control um, soon so you can actually get some sleep. I know how that is. I actually had like one of those nights last night. I just, I could not sleep for the life of me. It was like 2 a.m. and I think I finally was like, all right, hopefully I can go to sleep now. I just had a lot of shit on my mind, you know? It's just been one of those uh, weeks, days, whatever. I could totally do this. Like this. 
A lot of this stuff is just kinda, I don't wanna say anybody can do it, but I mean, I've seen enough YouTube videos of people doing shit like this to where I can, I know I can do it. There. Crud, I have extra, what am I gonna do with that? I made a mistake. All I could do here. Yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I still have these extra ones, but I'm sure I could sell them if I really don't need them. I do need wood, though. wondering why I'm using wood, it's because this is literally under everything. All like the windows and everything. I didn't like that little, little bit of white there. All right. One more plank. Can I get it up there? Um, damn it. I think I need the scaffolding. I'm supposed to get that. All right, everything in here looks good. Really, just that one spot, huh? Thing. This might be too big. How am I supposed to get that? In the smaller one? Oh, it's still massive. Why am I stuck? Maybe I have to take the stairs out. So we're taking the stairs out. Ah, oh, I can't take them completely out. All right, so apparently that window I cannot get to, which is unfortunate. But on the plus side, I can change things, which is great. Hold on a minute. Okay. We take the ornaments off. Okay, I'm liking the stairs. Stick with black. The lights, there's lights. Oh, oh wow, that's neat. Guys, there's lights. 
We're gonna leave the lights. Oh my god, there's more. There's a bunch! <gasps> oh my god. Alright, I actually like it a lot better now. Should I leave the stars, or is that too much? I feel like that might be too much. Um... You guys are kind of talking amongst yourselves. Yeah... What on the stairs and the light suit you are. Yeah, I know. That's good. It, it's the it's the Wonderland Neverland room. That's kind of what I was going for. No, why did it do that? It didn't save. darker or I don't know the white just is very I mean I guess the white is fine I feel like that's too dark and I don't know how I really feel about that um Roll up and see what I missed. You guys are talking about Stephen King movies and whatnot. Alright, change. I guess we'll leave it like that. That doesn't look terrible, but maybe I should have left the white. I don't know. We'll stick with the white for right now, and then if I change my mind, I guess. I feel like the white kind of brightens it up a little bit. Like the whole ambiance here. Alright, anyway. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I still have wood. Alright, I'm gonna find some place to put this. Try to use all my materials. If you haven't noticed, because I don't like to have to sell them back. You don't get much for selling them back anyway. I already checked this room, didn't I? I think I did. The other thing I noticed about this game is like, here, watch. Like if I go to, for example, try to pick up the brick instead, it still shows me like obviously like I can't because I have this piece of wood here. So I gotta like place this somewhere and then like, I guess, I'm not leaving that there. Just wanna pick up the brick. <laughs> Christmas lights on the stairs, fairy lights on the stairs. I could have made them different colors to make them Christmas lights, but that is like a pretty nice touch that they, uh, they added there, I will say. 
They also have like Christmas decorations and stuff, but I was like, oh, I'm not gonna go all out bother with Christmas decorations. Oh, I'm all stuck in my mic. Maybe I should have made that wood. I don't like how that looks. I feel like I should have had the wood go across here. New plan, I think that's what we're gonna do. Thought I would like it, but alas, I did not. I actually don't like how this is laying out. I thought it was gonna lay out like this, and it's not. I'm gonna leave the brick. God damn it. Here. Breaks up the wall a little bit. I'm gonna fix all that, don't worry. And you guys are keeping the chat going, I appreciate that. Um, I think I'm only gonna stream for like another hour or so, maybe half hour. Depends on how things go. It's also really hot in my room, and I'm sure at some point Marty's gonna have to go potty, so it's been a couple hours. Alright, we're gonna put that back, and that's how we're just gonna do the brick here. Once I get the walls all situated, then I'm gonna start kind of like decorating a little bit more like I did in the master bath. I'm gonna try and get the majority of the interior done here. Oh, I'm one short. Nope, too short. Hmm. Now I'm all tiles. Doesn't look too bad. I should have learned my lesson with that one. But yeah, I figured like using the um, brick and the wood to just kind of break it up a smidge so it's not all brick. is definitely my style. The big windows, the wood, the brick, stone, whatever. Looks nice. You do have to put some lighting in here though and get that counter going. I shouldn't have put the wood there. I should have had it go dumb. Hmm. You guys are probably like, make up your mind. <laughs> Hi, nobody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me give you a shout out. Uh, yeah, we're doing construction. We were playing Disney Dreamlight Valley, but um, 
I uh, needed to play this, of course. I actually, I just wanted to show everybody, like, the new place that I was saving up for. Dude, it was so much money. Like, it took forever to save up. And there were, like, actually, that reminds me. I'll show you. I completed all the jobs. You can redo them to get, like, money, but as you can see, there's, like, no new emails. I literally did all of these 100%, as you can see. I can go back and do them at any time. Um, the ones that pay the most, like the broad with the kindergarten here, she paid like 21000 So anytime I need money now, I just go to that one because I'm like, oh, I'll just go build a kindergarten and, uh, you know, have 21000 for my house. All right, I'm going to finish this. Did I do the other side of this? Nope, I didn't. I'll do that now. But yeah, I did a lot of demolition in this. I did a lot of cleaning. Like I was saying earlier, when I bought it, there was like broken glass, broken doors, snow, like mountains of snow that I had to clear out. Trash, um, like it was awful. As you can see, I've been on this for about 11 hours total. And this is all I got so far. But I also, you know, did a lot of like, tearing down and like rebuilding walls and that was like the most time consuming part I think. Like trying to figure out what the uh, layout was going to be and I'm going to put Rick up here. I'm just going to sell this because I don't think I need any more of that. creating stuff I can go back and forth so much that's what I honestly venturous I probably like spent double the time because like I said I built walls and then like tore them down because I'm like oh this doesn't work because I realized like I had a plan I drew out what the plan was going to be because like I said the layout of this one was different than the the job one I did and I liked sort of liked the layout of the job one I did as far as like where the placement of the kitchen was because the kitchen was actually like like this room was open I'm sorry this room was like wide open like none of these walls were here none of them um there were just like pillars and this was wide open and then the kitchen was like right here obviously it was set back so where like the bathroom was that was like the kitchen and it was like all open which is great i like the open floor plan which is like what i got going on over here um but i wanted two bedrooms down here like big bedrooms which obviously i got um because i wanted to put closets and stuff in and then i wanted the the upstairs area to just kind of be like an office area office library area and then this big ass room over here i i don't know maybe i'll make an arcade out of this i don't fucking know like i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i was gonna i was thinking about it like a home gym but they don't have like workout stuff in this game either so i'm like yo what the fuck they got skiing shit but they don't got workout shit tell me how that makes sense So I'll probably just do an arcade. That's the other thing. They have like arcade games. So I'm like, how many people actually have an arcade in their house? I mean, somebody that owns a house like this probably would have an arcade. I know I would, but that's just me. So I'm probably gonna have to use the scaffolding to get up there do all of that so that's gonna be fun but that'll be a if, you know for another time gotta have something for you guys to watch on Monday I think I might do I'll just do all brick here why not out of brick. Do the outside here and walls in brick and then I'll probably do something paint wise here. 
finish that. Um, I'm just chilling. Now you're I'm making you want to play this game. I'm telling you, Venturous, it's a great time. Like, you are going to have a blast. I think I'm also going to make this area brick. Because it's like a little secret entryway. I need more. One more will do it. That should be plenty. Get under the stairs at the very least. Yeah, that should be enough. Ah, oh, it's doing it up there too. What am I gonna do about this? I, mean, I guess I could have the brick on this. Hmm. But then I gotta do all of this. I guess I have to do all of it. I'll figure out something. Yeah, see, I'm gonna have to do the rest of it because it looks stupid like that. I think I might do wood there. I don't think I'm gonna do brick here. I'll do wood to like divide it up. And then maybe do brick all down here. I'm afraid to do it because why am I stuck? Are you serious right now? I don't know what that was about. Why, because I was crouching on the stairs? Okay. Let me guess that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go all the way over here anyway, so whatever. And I don't want to have to buy a whole stack of wood just for that one fucking thing. That's going to be so annoying. <sighs> I've had an arcade for sure, big TV, some gaming systems. Yeah, they actually have like multiple monitors and like a lot of cool stuff. So like my office slash library area, I was also going to make like you know, a little gaming setup, but I think I, that's like the only other thing I could put down here is a fucking arcade. Like, what else am I going to do with that room other than make it another bedroom? And I'm like, I don't need guests. I got two, two bedrooms is enough. I'm trying to see what else I can use wood for. Could do this whole room. Hmm. Oh, wait, can I reach that? Can I not put anything there? You know what? I'm gonna buy scaffolding real quick. I'm gonna see. Seriously? Ah! I placed it right <laughs> right where the stupid bar is. Can I move it? Thank god I can move it. Oh, this thing was a lot of fucking money. I hope I get a lot of it back. 
Ah, it's too high. Can I... All right, this one was too high. I definitely overestimated. Can I not sell it? Don't tell me it's, oh, oh my God, I was gonna have a heart attack. I was like, no, it's stuck in here. Oh, all right, smaller scaffolding. Definitely overestimated on that one. That was my bad. Spent a lot of money. Probably for nothing. Get up there. It's not even like allowing me to like select it. So I don't think I can. That's kind of, but I could do up here. How does that make sense? What? All right. Oh, well, I guess we're getting planks. This wall. Ah, oh, hate it. it. Didn't look the way I wanted it to. All right, I'm gonna have to use brick, which is a little, a little annoying. But I don't like how that looks. All right, I'm gonna move the scaffolding and. Like, look how uneven that is. Oh no, I guess it's even. It just looks uneven from the angle I'm at. I'm about to get really fucking mad. trying to figure out where to put this. I thought I was gonna need a lot more. I guess I overestimated. Hmm. Brick is what I should have did. Put brick on that wall. I think that's what I'm going to do. There we go. That works. Just fills it in a little bit. Uh, I could probably get lost for days in this game. Sims for the, Sims for the super adult. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it does kind of have that feel to it. Um, I mean, obviously, you can't, like, um, you can't cook or anything like that, but you can, like, open things, you know, cabinets, and they do have, like, accessories that you could place, so I'll be putting, like, forks, spoons, all that stuff. I'll be utilizing these cabinets for sure. Um, I actually put this window in. It had, like, those really small windows that were, like, in that front room. This room over here it had these stupid windows. Jeez. Which I guess is great for, like, privacy and stuff, but I'm like, the rest of this room has, like, big-ass windows, so I'm like, it needs, like, it needs something, you know? And I feel like it just makes it look nice to have, like, the sink right here, the window, you know? I'll move that laptop eventually, but... Um, I do have to find counters to put here and figure out what I'm going to do with this dishwasher because this just look at this it is shorter you probably can't really tell but if I place it here well actually no hold on not that one it's higher than this one so I would have to put it on that side which I don't obviously have the room so I'm just going to put it maybe to the side over here near the sink Finish with the brick real quick. You guys are like, you are all over the place. I'm like, I know, there's so much to do, I don't know where to start. So I'm just like buying stuff, and then eventually, once I run out of money, I'm gonna have to go and renovate a kindergarten again. I kind of wish that this was done a little differently because it's kind of a pain in the ass to like, you know, have to climb up and down and also like, you only get 15 of these, it's kind of annoying, so then you gotta keep buying more. Like at least in The Sims, you just use whatever and they just charge you for it, they don't give you like a limit. God damn it, I'm short break my ankle. There we go. I'll go over to... If you haven't figured out, I like brick and wood. Alright, we're gonna change that out. That's first. I guess we're gonna have to make this all brick. thought about making it wood, but actually I probably should because this is all wood. God damn it. Ventress, when you play this, you're literally this is literally gonna be you. Anyway. Geo man, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Let me give you a shout out. I'm like preoccupied with my game here. I can't believe it's almost already been a half hour. Holy crap. Not gonna lie, you only, um, did I already give you a shout out? No, I didn't. I knew I was forgetting something. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the only reason I played Sims 2 is just to build houses. You guys should see the house I have in my Sims 3 game. Oh my God, it's like massive. Um, imagine if it was that easy to hang brick. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not the best with realism, but in all honesty, I'm not complaining. That's what I'm saying. It seems so relaxing and simple, and plus you can smash stuff with your hammer. Yeah, that's why, like, one of the reasons I like this game is it is it doesn't take a whole lot of brain power. It's just, like, you make what you want to make, um, other than if it tells you, like, what you need to be doing. Um, Davey, no problem. Do what you gotta do. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll give you another shout out. Um, go eat and do what you gotta do. Um, I'm only gonna stream for another half hour anyway, so. My room is super hot and I kinda wanna also watch, um, 
How I Met Your Father, which is a Hulu show. Hillary Duff. I don't know what I want to do with this wall if I want to use it as brick, but I definitely need more panels. I should put brick over here. the panels we're gonna change all of this Let's start over here it's just so much brick and I really just try to like change it up a bit it's not too much That looked terrible. It looks terrible. <sighs> I'm really just not liking it, you guys. Sure, I'll figure out something else to do with it, but. Brace it up a little bit. <sighs> I'm so indecisive. Um, thank you, Venturous. I'm glad you think it looks great. I'm a little annoyed about this, like me not being able to put anything here. Like up there, like fine, whatever, I'll deal. Not happy about that either, but I can't move the stairs for the scaffolding, so I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Need some more brick. Probably do brick up here. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm just gonna leave this here for now just because I don't know if I'm gonna need it again at some point like especially if you're like up there I don't know if I need to get up there but all right we're gonna look for kitchen cabinets so that I could at least try to have a full kitchen Uh, I actually started watching that last week. Archer the Awesome. Thanks, Davey. Architect, architecture, architecture Archer. It's a tongue twister. This has so many designs. Yeah, I mean, some of it, like, kind of sucks. Because, like, look, you're like... Oh, it has all these, but some of them, like, you have all these different color options, but they're not, like, like, look, some of them aren't great. And then, like, the, the countertops, this is kind of what I need anyway. But, um, so, cedar is what I used, and then I believe this is what I used. 
But see, like, all the different countertops are not, like, like what the fuck is this? Can I change that? Yeah, I can. So it's gonna have to look like that, which I'm not crazy about at all. Like, I'm really not happy with that. So it kind of has like atrocious countertop choices. Um, so anyways. And we got these ones. Which these ones look nice, but again, like, just, I don't know. Not really for what I'm trying to... They don't have the cedar color I was using, so these cabinets actually wouldn't even match. But that's what I mean, like obviously finding ones that um, that match. Which would most likely be this one, because this is the only wood one, the other ones are painted. It doesn't look terrible. I'm just not. I don't like that. I wanted it like the stone, you know? I'm not crazy about it. As close as I can get, huh? hoping that this would line up with this. Mind you, I didn't put this one in here. This one was already here, and I just assumed that it lined up, which it does not. But it really doesn't bother me all that much, to be quite honest, so I'm like, whatever. Does this look like it's not straight? It isn't. It's not. I gotta pull it forward a hair. Was the first one not straight? Oh my god, the first one wasn't straight. There we go. I wonder why it wasn't lining up. There we go. Okay. They're normal and straight, they'll fit perfectly. Much better. All right, and then I guess we'll put the dishwasher here at the end, in theory. As you can see, it's still not tall enough. gonna know. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Ow! Uh, maybe it's the light, but the countertops look brown. Yeah, the countertops are brown. Um, like I said, definitely not what I would have chose. Like, this whole... I mean, it's close to what I was going for, but it's definitely not exact, and it definitely throws off 
the vibe, in my opinion. I do have to put a light in here, so let's uh, let's look at lights. I have like little, like kind of like these. Ah, oh, I thought that was much smaller than it actually is. Is this small? Oh, they are. Alright, this is what I was looking for, these tiny little ones to put over the kitchen cabinets. And in like various corners of the room. It gives off a fucking lot of light, holy shit! Look at that shit from space. Spruces it up a little bit. I'm gonna put one over the fridge. And well, actually, we'll put one over here just for funsies. I'm gonna put one in the middle. I just think that's too much. I like a lot of light. And it definitely brightens it up a little bit. And then maybe one big light, like a hanging one right here, maybe? Or I could put them across here. Hold on. But I might be on something. I might just put one here. Instead of putting one different one in the middle. That look like it's enough distance. That looks good, I think. All right, again, not exact, but I'll take these uh, little saucers <laughs> of light. You like that? Oh, well, thanks. I pride myself on interior design, not really, but I know what I like and I know how to create what I like. So if you don't like something you buy, you can sell it back and buy again. Yeah, you just sell it back for, like, obviously a, a lower price, which sucks. But whatever. Um, for the most part, like, the furniture, when you go to buy it, you can obviously, before you purchase it, like, see if it's something that you actually want before you uh, purchase it. But, like, for the panels and stuff, there's no way, like, it's not like The Sims where, like, um, you can, like, just highlight the wall and see what the paint would look like on the wall. Unfortunately, it's not like that. You actually have to panel it or stone it or whatever, paint it to see if you like it or not. And if you don't like it, well, tough luck. But overall, yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely coming together. I'm gonna put some light switches in. We'll do double light switches and what I like about the light switches are they actually work. I find a place to put them. There is a suitable place to put them in the kitchen. Like right outside the kitchen here, you think? Or like I don't want to put it in the entryway. Or like on here, maybe? Hmm. Perhaps right outside. Oh, if I do it outside the kitchen, I don't know if that'll actually work. Maybe I should put it over here. Hmm. Well, let's find out. Oh, 
Oh, it did work. Or is that everything? Oh, it's the hall light too. That's... You know what? That's fine. Dual purpose. Alright, we got about 20 more minutes left. Um, finish up the kitchen. We're going to put some seating in here. Probably not going to finish up the kitchen, but you know what I mean. God damn it. Uh, kitchen. Oh, these are cabinets. I want, all right, let's see, bar chairs. Here we go. Hmm. Fucking terrible choices for bar stools. This is like the only one I would actually consider. Because it matches. The rest of these are awful. I mean, unless I had like a different, like, I mean, for this layout. It's not that they're terrible. I mean, some of them are terrible, but. Small? What's the difference between small and large? I don't understand. Or small and medium. All right, we're gonna get one of each and then we'll sell whatever one back. What the fuck is, oh, it's higher. All right, so let's decide what size we want. And then I'll figure out what color. I feel like the small, <clears throat> this is, this is too high, I think. Looks funny, doesn't it? We're gonna go with the small. Oh no! There we go. They have cedar. They don't have cedar, right? Oh, they do. Splendid. All right. Now these are gonna match our. I think we could fit four. We'll do four and then we'll sell this one back. Not the comfiest looking chairs, but you know what? They work. Better than the other ones anyway. Wrong, Marty. Something's lopsided. Yeah, it is. Oh. There. Looks nice. I mean, I guess they could be moved down a little bit, but. Overall, not too shabby. It's really starting to come together. Hey, they seat people though. That's true. They do. They do seat people. Sweet bar chairs. Are you gonna add bar stools? Oh, yep, I did. I missed that. Sorry, Ventress. Damn, this is looking good. Well, thank you. It's definitely coming together. Like this is like I said. I love stone, brick, wood. Like this is like. Once I saw this, I was like, oh, this is the house. This is the house. The windows especially, like, come on now. I mean, it's really starting to take shape, take form, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's really coming together. And I actually just noticed those little uh, lights I found. They're actually, I didn't do this. This was already here. I see that they're not over here though. So I wonder if I should, nah, you know what? I don't know. Should I put more lights over here? I feel like we have enough light as it is. These I might take out though, because I'm not really crazy about these. I was thinking more like, I'll show you guys what I was thinking about putting in here. It's kind of more like medieval looking, but I liked the way they look and they kind of go with the uh, ambiance. Like, look at this. Cedar. Look at that. Doesn't that look much better? I feel like it does. I even feel like I could actually put it in the middle of the kitchen. 
I don't like how it looks so like. Is that too much? I mean, I can move it a little over to the center a little bit more. But I like how it looks, you know, like the light itself. I just don't know, maybe not in the kitchen, maybe just out here. Like I'll put a couple of them. Like, is that too much? You like it? All right, cool. But the medieval style works. I'm glad. Like I said, they don't give you a whole lot. I mean, they give you a lot of options. They're just not a lot of good options um, always for what you're like building. So that's really the downfall. So I'm really hoping the second one is is different. And then I also did notice, like I said, they have other versions like um, for pets, and which I'm curious about, but I don't have 20 bucks to blow on that right now. So we're just gonna slay this until my little heart contents. Is that too much? I'm gonna take these ones out and maybe move them down. I feel like that's a lot. I'm gonna move these down here. That's even. It's hard to tell. And then they also <coughs> have these. Which these I have in my bathroom. But I think I'm gonna put I'm gonna take those out and I'm gonna put these over here. It actually might look better on the wood, to be honest. Do you think they look better on the brick or the wood? are cute. Hmm. Oh, they got a cute little log candle. Yeah, we'll just do this. How big is medium? How big is large? just to remind me that that's there <laughs> so I can decorate later. Damn, Archer, you got an eye for design. 300 bucks for neons. Yeah, shit's expensive in this game. Like, you'd be, like I started this this game um, on stream now. Um, what was I at? 26,000? Something like that. Now I'm only down to 12. And I mean, I hardly... I mean, yeah, I put together a whole fucking kitchen pretty much, but um, I mean, where did all that money go, you know? Other than like brick and paneling but I'm glad you guys like it that makes me feel so good because I'm like you know I like it but you know you never know if someone else is gonna like your designs you know I haven't decided should I I don't know if I should leave this here or if I should put it on the brick I kind of like it on the brick because it frames in like the TV and everything you know is that even Why does this one look so much smaller it is even, right? No, it's not. There we go. Oops. What is wrong here? It's even, right? Why am I like so tripped out right now? You too, Venturous. All right, 
We got another 10 minutes. What should we do now? Oh, by the way, the dishwasher actually opens. As you can see, there's no rack in there or dishes, but... Oh wait, I guess maybe there is. Forgot I had a flashlight. I mean, it kind of looks broken, but it's fine. I don't know. I'm proud of it. I'm admiring my work. <laughs> I do think I should put um, one more light over here, though. Since I'm already doing it. Where is that spaceship light? That's not it. This one. Let's put it right in the... Oh, does the other one have that? I don't want to put too much light. I feel like that's too much. How did they do it over here? Oh, they put it right in front of the door. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep up the little trend here. I feel like adding another one might be too much. I feel like maybe I should just put one in the middle. Instead of sticking with the middle of the door, I'll just put it in the middle of the thing. I like it. It looks even to you? All right, good. As long as it looks even to you, because I'm like looking at it and I'm like, this one looks like a, it's a little higher and then this one looks like it's too far over and it's just a mess. By the way, look at my glass swans, you guys. This was left by the former owners, like, I, so I decided to just keep it. <laughs> I could have sold it because that's part of it. Like when you um, buy houses, you sell all the stuff inside for like extra money to renovate and whatnot. So that's what I did. I sold a lot of the stuff, but that was like the only thing I was like, yo, I'm keeping this. This is dope. So I'm like, it's going right on the fireplace. And by the way, fireplaces in here, atrocious. Look at this nonsense. That one was honestly the closest I could find. I'm like, they really don't have like a log cabin kind of like style fireplace. Like fucking ridiculous. It's absurd. Like decorations, I need some decorations, fireplaces. Like, look, I know what you're thinking. It's, you know, either this one or this one. But the problem is these are too small. Like they're tiny little fireplaces. This is the biggest one. So I'm like, it needs a big grand fireplace. Like, and so I just had to settle for this. And the colors for this, there was no like brown or anything. So this is like, to me, it's like a fucking eyesore. I hate it. Look at this. Like I could do this. I was kind of hoping for brick, but this is what I used for the kitchen. So, I mean, I guess I could switch it out and kind of do something with it. You think that's better? I mean, I guess it's more the color scheme than the white. We're gonna change it. Now that I did the kitchen. My swans and my little log candle. All right, I'm gonna sell this big ass fireplace, place it with this one. Not the greatest, but it'll do. Wall, check, check. All right, put my candle back up here. There we go. I'm gonna stick this actually over in the corner. All right, got about another six minutes. I'm gonna go eat some food and watch How I Met Your Father on Hulu. Oh, by the way, um, so season four of You came out. There were only five episodes. Are they making another season? Is there another half to that season? Does anybody know? Because in all honesty, I'm invested. Like the third season, I felt like just, I, I didn't like it. There were things about it I liked, but the majority of it I just didn't like. But they like made like a comeback with the fourth season, you know? And now I'm like, are they, like, I was all, like, they left it on a cliffhanger too, in a way. 
so I'm kind of annoyed. I need like shelves because I want to do the pantry. Furniture. I wish I could just look individually. Storage maybe. This might work, but these aren't really pantry shelves. Baby bedroom. Oh, wait. Nope. It's a cabinet, dressing table, wardrobe, maybe? None of these are shelves that I can use, huh? other than this one, and I don't like this. This is not what I'm looking for. <sighs> Living room, perhaps? All right, we got shelves. I don't really wanna do individual shelves, but I might have to. Just kind of hoping for built-ins. What is this? It's small, I don't have anything wide. Oh, shelves, here we go, hold on. small. That's very small. I need something taller. Oh, wait. I don't like how these are. What are these? Details? What is this? Glass? What is it? Oh. This might work. Maybe. Can we put it behind the door here? Shimmy it behind the door? We're improvising. I don't hate it. Let's see how close we can get the second one. And if it's not that close, I might have to do individual shelves. God. Go. Really? Why can't I put this here? <gasps> the fucking window. All right, I'm gonna take that window out. We don't need a window in the pantry anyway. All right, awesome. Cool. Now my only problem, fuck. Actually, I could extend this one more if that would make a difference. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a quick demolition. <laughs> There's nothing on the other side of this wall anyway. You don't like where walls are, you just knock them down and build them again. That's all right. be able to fit one more. God damn it. I don't know how that's still standing. Whatever. Alright, we're gonna put this right here. going to build some walls again. Alright, we're going to put that here. I see that I cannot... This is going to be kind of fucked.
Look at that. Plenty of space to put food. They got a lot of gray. Yeah, no, they do. If I was making like a house that was like black, white, gray, like absolutely, they would have, like I could make an amazing house. But obviously the, not just the, like the overall design of this house, it just wasn't that like black and white. I just don't feel would work. There's too much like, I don't know if you could change this. You might be able to actually change this. I probably could have made it into like all black, white, and gray, which is why I'm really excited to see you play Adventurous because I'd love to see you like what you do with something like this and how it differs from like what I did with it, you know? I don't know. I just think that it would be like um, just interesting to see like what your style is, you know? Um, let me just put in the last floor here. Here we go. And then I think we're gonna call it. I actually think I could put another wall. Yep, I can. All right, that's what we're gonna do. So it fills it in a little bit and then I'll probably put sh more shelving up here, like the individual shelves at some point, but I wanna paint and everything in here first before I go further. But overall, like, you know, this is a pretty good shelf that kind of worked in my favor, thankfully, um, for what I wanted to use it for. I wasn't sure if that was actually going to work, and I thought I might have to make that room into, like, something else. But luckily it did, and we can uh, move forward. So, as I said, on Monday I'll stream this again um, and show you guys what I did maybe over the weekend, if I do anything over the weekend. But... We'll see. Saturday, um, we are playing Brutal Legend at seven o'clock. Check my planner. Six or seven o'clock. Let's see. Uh, seven o'clock Eastern time. So definitely tune in then. And then again on Monday, which I haven't decided what time on Monday, but um, I'll upload it to the schedule this weekend. I'm gonna start streaming on Mondays, like I said, from now on so now I'm streaming three days a week and seven till 12 no I don't know about seven till 12 but definitely a couple hours because as you could see this game is very time consuming like I said I was gonna play it for about an hour and a half which I did obviously and the time just really flew by because it's that it's just there's so much to do but um, I'm glad you guys liked it and I appreciate the um, you know you guys tuning in and all that jazz and um yeah i think that's gonna pretty much do it hopefully you guys will tune in again on monday and if not maybe saturday gaming hi we're actually just wrapping um i know you're probably just getting out of work but let me give you a shout out anyway thank you so much for popping in um i don't know if you streamed yesterday but if you did didn't see you on um you just got off work um, yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna stream this again on Monday, but uh, on Saturday I'll be streaming Brutal Legend, so um, definitely tune in. But yeah, we're gonna wrap because I'm starving. I gotta let Marty out, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch some television. My eyes are starting to burn. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me see who's on so that we can raid. Nobody go anywhere. Just give me a second. Um, Shadow says, love you. Go eat and relax. Thanks, Shadow. I appreciate you. Uh, Archer said she's going to stream for another hour. Stream another hour for you. I did not say that, Venturous. Cookie's live? All right, we'll rate Cookie. Um, Cookie rated me last time, so we'll definitely go rate Cookie. Oh, well, Luke is on too, but I'm going to rate Cookie. Um, and then I'll rate Luke next time. I haven't rated Cookie in a while, so... All right. Set that up. I always forget how to... S he doesn't put the O in it, right? All right, that's why I couldn't tag him. I was spelling it wrong. All right, anyway. Set that up. All right, so we're gonna rate Cookie. 
And um, no, we're not going for three more hours, guys. Thanks, I appreciate it, but I am beat. Um, so Saturday, seven o'clock Eastern time, and then Monday um, at some point, I'm gonna upload it to the schedule this weekend once I figure out an exact time. But Saturday, Brutal Legend, seven o'clock Eastern p.m. Um, and then this again on Monday. All right, so that'll do it. As always, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay tuned into the future of entertainmentmatterger.com. Bye.